Gone are the days when Americans only used social media for a break from boredom or a cute puppy fix. <laughs> Increasingly, they're heading there for news. The Pew Research Center finds that 21% of adults regularly get their news from influencers on social media. For the under 30 crowd, it's 37%. President-elect Donald Trump's late October interview with podcaster Joe Rogan gained nearly 40 million views on YouTube in just the first three days. He spoke Go to this guy for three hours. Anyway, it's a great honor to be. Vice President Kamala Harris was often the subject of flattering viral videos on social media, including brat summer posts. She's already generated a good deal of attention online from people who create memes. Even my three teenage Kids told me that Brat Girl Summer is over. The platforms that host these news influencers could face increased scrutiny next year. Brendan Carr is Trump's nominee to head the Federal Communications Commission. He's advocating for the dismantling of what he calls the censorship cartel, claiming that Apple, Facebook, Google, and Microsoft censor conservatives on their platforms. Free speech is a bedrock of democracy. We need to return to it. The Pew study finds that 27% of news influencers present a right-leaning view compared to 21% left-leaning. Pew says news influencers on Facebook are three times as likely to be conservative than liberal. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox News.